Greetings everyone. I'm Sham and I feel so elated talking to you through this video. What have we got as the question for today? Is it good to walk and talk? That's a good question. Is it right to have a walk when we present a speech on the stage? Yes, it has been recommended by some of the experts in public speaking, but you will need to understand the nuances very deeply. There are different forms in which you walk on the stage. You either walk from your position to the left or from your position to the right. The other form is walking forward and walking backward. Now, how would these walking forms help you when you're presenting a speech on the stage? Here we go. When you're taking a walk to the left or right of your stage, you ought to convey something that is not so important, my dear friends. Usually, this walking is taken as a filler. Imagine that you're giving a significant speech and there is a line which does not carry a lot of significance. At that point, if you feel that your audience will get lost for a moment, you can grab their attention by walking either to the right or to the left. Here it goes. Days passed by and I became a successful businessman. Did you understand that? When I say days passed by, I move to the left because the sentence days passed by is not very significant. But when you tend to say I became a successful businessman, we stop. We will have to take that stance when we try to give the most significant statement. The same applies to moving to the other side of the stage. But the case is exactly the reverse when you try to move forward and backward. Here it goes. Days passed by and I became a successful businessman. Did you get that? So I moved forward when I was giving a significant statement, when I was giving a noteworthy statement. And how would this apply when I move backward? Days passed by. I couldn't achieve anything. So here you present a statement denoting loss, denoting failure, denoting rejection or dejection. That way moving backward helps you to convey the emotion perfectly. Let us quickly summarize friends. If you are walking to the left or right of the stage, you are conveying something that is not so significant. When you start giving the most important part of your speech, stand. Go to the left, stand and deliver the most important part. But when it comes to moving forward and backward, stay and deliver the normal sentence. Walk forward when you give a significant statement. Stay and give a normal sentence. As you move backward, give the statement that carries a negative emotion. If you are aware of all these pointers, I'm sure my dear friends, you would be able to explore walking and talking so perfectly. Yes, impersonation also stands as a point to be discussed when you talk about walking and talking. When you place different characters or objects virtually on the stage, there is a necessity for you to walk. I went to my friend's house. When you walk, you are taking me to your friend's house. Then I found my friend and I went along with him. Now you are taking me along with your friend as you walk towards that part of the stage. Impersonation and the significance of the statements. These ought to be considered when you plan to walk on the stage as you speak. Plan it well and execute it successfully. My best wishes. Thank you. மிகப்பெரிய <laughs> <laughs>
யாரோ சொல்றாங்கிறதுக்காக ஸ்போக்கன் இங்கிலீஷ் எடுத்திருந்தா யூ வில் நாட் பி சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் என்ன சொல்றது இந்த நைட்டா இல்லையே அத வேற மாதிரி சொல்றாங்களே எப்பயுமே ஒரு பாடமே கிடையாது என்ன செய்யணும் No, that's wrong. That's why there is no story telling. Subscribe to our channel for fun facts, lessons on English and tips for public speaking.